saying the Palai Bible Church wouldn't have been without every one of us that's sitting down here this morning. Um, many people are always being surprised when they see us and then when they see the load we have carried. They see how we have spread the good news uh, globally. I pray that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, uh, you will not miss your reward in Jesus' name. And Almighty God will continue to be with you in Jesus' name. I want to start from the Sister Lisa, Brad Dimitrik, and then Pasabi. Uh, it has not been easy, but during rain, during song, you have been there. Uh, we met Mata today. Uh, Sister Lisa was there. And then we the uh, this year effort has been rewarding, although slowly, but we thank God. In YouTube, we went above fifteen thousand subscribers. In the other one, I think we went now to ninety one. And then something big thing happened this year. We able to produce some prayer on the online that is separated. Go to if you want to listen to any prayer anytime, you can just type our name and those prayer will come and then you can listen to them. So apart from that, uh we able to bring some soul to the church. Um because of many circumstances, many couldn't stay, but we have many that stay. You can see that we have extra people in Bible study uh, every Monday. We have extra people. And then by the grace of the Lord, we have still secured about two people again, which I believe by the grace of the Lord, they will start with us in January, this January. So I want to employ you, do not stop your effort, your prayer. And then by the grace of the Lord, my wife has prayed for every one of you today. All those entrances uh, that we take it as a medication by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to heal us and is going to take it away in Jesus' name. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to take total control. I will not but continue to extend the appreciation, the joy uh, of Pastor Dada to every one of us. About 30 days ago, he still talked to me. And then his dream is that we move from this church to that place. That is why he has not able to visit us. So continue to pray uh, with me. Let every one of us continue to pray. And by the grace of the Lord, God will help us to move in Jesus' name. I have a dream that these chairs, we should be able to change them or able to buy cover to them for this year. Uh, this carpet, you see, is becoming old. We need to change it. If you look at our this chair too, you see them, they are becoming old. So that's all thing. But uh, in technology, we are trying. You see that. I think it's only we in the United States running 24, if I'm not mistaken. And then by the grace of the Lord, we have added YouTube, uh, me, Facebook now. The challenges with Facebook is that they don't run beyond eight hours. So immediately we, they, we run eight hours. This, if we started running again, they started blocking it, maybe 30, one hour, everything. But by the grace of the Lord, we are trying to do, you can see that. It's already closed now. Uh, we are doing all our all what we could do. Uh, our expansion has gone in the food outreach. I don't know if every one of you have taken notes. Uh, what really happened is that uh, Kroger increased us to two days instead of one day we have been given, and then new beginning church. They have decided to join us. So you can see the reason why we are having a lot of food on Saturday. 
So in the beginning, I've started to join us to uh, to uh, uh, the the corporate or uh, what can I say language I can use to uh, to cooperate with us. So now we are now serving all those area, and then we can see God has been helping us there. So God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. So apart from um, the accommodation, which is the main major challenges we are facing, and the reason we are facing them, especially is this our machines. It's very difficult to be moving them there, moving them back. That's number one. Number two, I don't work on Sunday. I don't work on Monday. And then I can with me alone cannot be carry all this machine and carry it back. So it's very challenging. It's very challenging. And that's why Pastor that I couldn't see anything uh like commanding or that we should move. Because as explained to him, it's only me and then uh all the few and we have. So but I know God is going to do it. How is going to do it is what I do not know. Uh, but do not let us relent of all what we are doing. Uh, the year being a great, uh, be grateful year, we went a lot. We want extra money. And God will continue to reward us in Jesus' name. Then I will say that, that is big thing that is coming on Sunday. Uh, today, do you want us to gather together just for maybe 12 or four, or you want us to meet on Monday or Sunday, or you want us to gather just to have, uh, uh, just to eat together? Like, uh, is it okay? I'm, I'm okay. I'm not going to anyway. I'm taking holiday from my place of work, so whatever you want, I'm ready. Do you want us to gather together one thirty, or you want us to come on Sunday, or you want us to gather one thirty or four? Just to eat together like we did on the Christmas day. Yes, today is Saturday. Today is New Year. Do you want us to come together? Or you want us to? I don't care whatever your decision. Just to share together like we did on Christmas day. I don't want you to be feeling lonely. You are the only family I have. I'm the only family you. Eh? You are going to be sleeping now. So your sleeping may not be like you are going to wake up 7 o'clock again. You may wake up around nine. You may wake up around ten. But if we decided that we should come together twelve o'clock or one thirty or four, I will come and pick everybody. Or what we are going to come to just to come and share meals together, and just like the day of the Christmas. Do you want us to come? And then you tell uh, Diane and that other lady, and then room twenty-four. You tell that one too. So should we come together for one thirty or we postpone it is Sunday? Sunday we are going to be busy. Sunday uh, we are going to be busy on Sunday. We are going to have visitors. Eh? Uh, you got what you have, not today you can take whatever you want to eat, you can do whatever you want to do. You are free. I'm just thinking that if you feel like like you want to enjoy your your New Year day, or but if everybody wants to rest, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. So should we should wait till Sunday or should we come on Saturday? Or we should wait till Sunday. That today is Saturday. Is today Friday? No, t- today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. What uh-huh. if, what I'm saying is this. If you want us to come back, that's when we are going to come back around 1 30. But if you don't want, I'm okay with it. We can meet on Sunday. But but we are getting to one o'clock now. If we come back, it'll be like if you want to come back, it can be like twelve, it can be like one thirty, it can be like four. We will just come like we came on Christmas. But if everybody wants to stay at home, that's okay with me. 
Eight in the night. Eight, eight in the morning. You only have. You won't wake up. Uh, because it's one o'clock now. If you want God to come back, I can come. No, we have prayer. We have our offertory. No, we have prayer this morning. I just for I just remember. We have prayer online by eight o'clock. We have prayer eight o'clock between eight eight o'clock and nine this morning. On the phone. I uh, know we no everybody's going home now. I will take everybody home now. Ah. No wait. So everybody's going. I will take everybody home now. But what I'm saying is this today is New Year. I want you to feel that you are family. You get what I'm saying? And I'm your family, you are my family. If you want us to come back by one o'clock or 12 or 4. All what we are going to come to do is just to come and eat together. You get what I'm saying? 10. Can you make it by 10? Do you think you can come by 10? Sabi? Uh, uh, Brad Dimitri? Uh -huh, so, but if, uh, if only you, it may not be because uh, if only you, I would just say maybe we should postpone it. But if other people too want to, that would be okay. But if by four, by four, by uh, you can't make it. Let let's uh, four in the afternoon. In the afternoon of Saturday, not four midnight. Four in the afternoon of Saturday. I mean, 4 p.m. of today. My my concern is that everybody is going to sleep now. And then because you sleep late, you get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, but if you say we should come by, I will provide something like 11. Because we are going to start prayer by 8. 8 to 9. We are going to finish by 9. I don't know, maybe we will have meeting for of pastors meeting, which I don't know. So let's say you give me a grace of 10. Then let's say I leave home by 10 to come and pick you. Then by 11 we here. Maybe if we are here by 11, <laughs> if we are here by 11, then by 12.30 or 1, everybody go back home. Then... Is that okay? Can I come and pick you by 11? We just eat together like we did the last time. Those people who have food, bring it. We too, whatever we are, we are going to prepare it. We are going to prepare it. Is that okay? 11 o'clock? Okay. I will try 11 o'clock. Then if I call anybody, if nobody respond, I will know that nobody's coming. But if we are coming, please, tell Diane, and tell other lady that all we want to come to do is come and have feast together. Yeah, and Diane, yeah, please tell them. And tell room 22 too. Yeah. And uh, tell them anybody you want to tell. Yeah, all what we want to come is to come and gather together and eat together. Okay. Uh -huh. Then on Sunday, we are going to have visitors. And I want everybody to know that we are going to have visitors. They are coming from the campus, and these are people of learned people. So please let us prepare that there will be visitors among us on Sunday. And by the power and the blood, Lord, nothing will change their mind in Jesus' name. They talked to me today, and they, and they promised to be here. And we are going to prepare for them. Maybe if we come, uh, we will do a lot of things to, in preparation. Uh, I thought we may, we may use our wireless microphone. Uh, we may use our wireless microphone and then we make sure every area is clean. 
and then uh, although we ex we explain a lot of things to them i've been talking with them so please let us be glad that we are going to have visitor on sunday they may be two they may be three they may be four so let us be careful that all the machine we are going to make sure that every area is clean uh, the bathroom every area is clean the curtain is washed and god is going to help us in jesus name maybe if you are good if you are not tired you can remove the curtain so that we wash everything so please set up prepare for sunday uh, once again i want to appreciate every one of you god will bless you god will reward you in jesus name all the hindrances in our life god is going to remove in the name of jesus christ and the name of the lord is going to be glorified somebody prophesied from florida yesterday about this church apart from the famous god has given to us online he said that if we do not stop if we do not stop what we are doing we are going to be surprised when god is going to enlarge the church and that know by the power and the blood of jesus christ god is going to enlarge this in jesus name i know the limitation i'm praying to us or to god to remove the limitation pastor that is praying that god should remove the limitation everybody is praying for that god should remove the limitation by the power and the blood of jesus christ god will take us to the highest place in jesus name once again thank you god bless you good morning happy new year i, I love you all. thank you so you will see me by by 10 i will come and put everybody on by 10. cook food prepare food and then we too we are going to prepare for you thank you god bless you